All right, what is going on, everyone? My name is Anson. In this tutorial, you will learn how you can configure permissions for your slash commands. So the very first thing that we should do is we should register a slash command. Before we get started, I just want to make sure that everyone is on the same page. So I have my bot token, client ID, and guild ID all stored inside my environment variables. And we're using the .env package. And you can see that over here, I have all of my uh, environment variables stored. So they're going to be loaded into memory when we run the bot. And I just have a simple template where we are logging the bot in. We are registering our slash commands. And we're also listening to a ready event. So we know that the bot is uh, going to log in. Or we know when the bot will log in. So what I'll do is I first want to register a slash command. So I'm going to go ahead and import this route. Uh, let's see, I will not, I want to import. Let me import it from up here, there we go. So I'll import it from discord.js and basically this is just a constant that has a bunch of helper methods that will help format the API route. So you can call the Discord API uh, without needing to actually hard code or write your own formatter for the API route. So the route that we want to call to register slash commands is, uh, I think it's application guild commands. And you want to pass in the application ID, which is just the client ID, and then the guild ID. So just like that. And then we want to pass in request data, which is just going to be uh, the commands that we want to register. So that is just going to be the property body, which is just an array. So what I'll do is I'll quickly register a slash command. And we can do this by uh, using the slash command builder class to help us, which I will import that from discord.js module. So inside this array, let me just zoom in a little bit more. Uh, I need to create an instance of slash command builder. And then what I want to do is I want to set a name for this slash command. So I'll call this something like, you know, uh, roll or roll dice, or you can call it whatever you can call it whatever you want. Depends on what kind of command you're building, right? So I'll just do something like, uh, let's do order food, something like that. Order, and let's do set description order food. Okay, and then finally, what we'll do is we'll call it to JSON. So this will send a Discord a J a valid JSON as the payload to register the slash command. Now let's go ahead into our terminal and run our bot. So I'll go into my terminal and I'm going to run my start dev script. So I will just type npm run start colon dev. Let me zoom in just a little bit. Okay, let's hit enter. And our bot should be up and ready. Okay, so let's go into our Discord. We can see that our bot is online. Okay. And uh, let's just check to see if the slash command is there. We can see that the slash command is in fact over there, which is good. Now, if I were to go on my other Discord account, I would also be able to use that slash command. So let me show you. So let me go over to Chrome. Open this over here and you can see that I'm on my other Discord account. And if I do slash, you can see that I can use this I can use this uh, command. All right, so one thing that I do want to mention is that the permissions that you can configure for slash commands, uh, those are just specific to member permissions. It has nothing to do with roles, okay? So for example, you can make this permission only available for a user if they have a specific permission such as kick or ban members or manage guilds or if they're an admin. Uh, if you wanted to actually check if they have specific roles or if they um are a specific user you would have to actually handle that in the interaction create event okay so let's go ahead and set up some permissions for this slash command so what i'll do is right before we call to json we will call this set default member permissions method and basically uh what you can do is you can configure what specific permissions a member should have in order to actually use this command Okay, so by default, if you wanted to disable this command, you can actually just uh, set this value to zero. And I'll run the code so I can show you how this works. So let's do npm run start uh, dev. Now, because we are an admin on our Discord server, we can still use this command. So if I do slash, I can still see order. But if I were to go on my other account, and if I were to use this, right, you would see that it doesn't even appear. 
which is good, which means that we know that the permissions are in fact working. Okay, so let's play around with this a little bit. Let's see how we can configure our permissions. Let's show a couple examples. So let's say, for example, I only want the user who has kick permission to use this command. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and import this permission flags bits. Okay, this is an enum and it's supposed to be imported from the Discord JS library. So let me just actually manually import that. And what I can do is I can reference whatever permission I want. So you can see that these are all the possible permissions. So I want to make sure that the user has at least let's do let's do kick members. Okay, so by default, members must have this uh, permission in order to use this order command. Okay, this order food command. So let's go ahead and restart our bot and let's just make sure everything's okay. Seems like our bot has logged in. There's no errors. So um, let's go back to our uh, our other account. And I still should not be able to use this command. As you can see, I can't even see the command uh, in the... Uh, in the chat, but let's go ahead and give ourselves some permissions. So let me go on my main Discord account. And what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and see if I can just give a role. I'll give a special role. So let me just do, uh, let's just call this a staff role. And let's just move this up top over here. Okay. And let's go ahead and uh, first give this account the staff role. We, don't, we, do, we do not have any permissions for the staff role just yet. So it should not be able to do anything. Okay, as you can see that there's no commands being shown for coffee bot. So let's go back to our main discord and let's go to our server. Let's go ahead and apply some permissions to this staff role. So what I'll do is I'll enable the kick member permission. And this should now allow this user to kick users. So since we have that permission on the user, I should be able to see that slash command right over here, which means I can actually see the command and I can actually use it before we before we received the kick members permission. We were not able to see that uh, command at all. OK, so what if we wanted to join together different uh, permissions? What if like, let's say, for example, if I I wanted users to have both kick and uh, ban member permission? on the server in order to use a specific slash command. How do we do that? Well, it's actually pretty simple. So what we do is we can use the bitwise or operator. So for example, I can do this. This is the bitwise or operator. And what I want to do is I want to get the other permission that I want the member to have in order to use this command. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure they have uh, kick members and band members. So let me save this. Okay, so now they must have both of these uh, permissions. So let's test this out. So our bot should restart. And let's go back to our other account. And if I were to do slash, you can see that I actually can't even see the command anymore because I don't have both the kick members and the band members permission. Let's go ahead and give uh, the account that permission. So let's go into server settings, roles, staff, and let's go ahead and apply the band members uh, permission. And let's go back to the other account on Chrome. Okay, and if I were to uh, hit slash, you can see now I can actually use this command because we have both permissions. And again, I could do the same thing over and over again. I can also do another bitwise or operator. I can go ahead and uh, select, uh, let's see, maybe we also want the user to have, uh, let's see, maybe we want them to have manage roles as well. So we want them to have all three permissions. So let's restart the bot. Bot's been restarted. If I go back to our other account, you can see that I cannot see that command anymore. If I were to go and apply that manage roles permission to this role, which that role is applied to our user account that we're using to test. And you can see that I now can see the command because this role that I have for this user has all three of those permissions. So yeah, that's pretty much it when it comes to uh, default member permissions for um, slash command. One more thing that I should mention is that there's also a method called set DM permission. 
And basically, this just makes it, uh, this just means that uh, you can allow the command to be available in DMs. And this only works for global uh, global commands, not guild commands. Okay, so you can disable your slash commands for DMs by just uh, passing in false. Okay, so this will ensure that those commands do not work in DMs. Okay, and that's pretty much it when it comes to uh, member permissions for your slash commands. Okay, again, this does not work for roles or specific users that you would need to check when you handle the interaction create event. So that is going to be pretty much it for this tutorial. Hopefully you all enjoyed it and I'll see you in uh, my next episode. Peace out.